Today I spent $250 on the secret Yu-Gi-Oh marketplace. What's up guys, we're back with another video. I recently spent $250 on the secret Yu-Gi-Oh marketplace aka collector marketplace collector is an app where you can track your cards and your box values and stuff like that all your sealed products all your stuff in your collection it's an ios app so you can download it on your phone and do all that stuff so you have it basically in your pockets like a little wallet for all your cards which is really cool if you have not checked it out go check it out but that also has a marketplace feature where you can buy stuff so roll the clip of our youtube short that you may have missed also instagram reel go follow me at ruxin 34 we bought the 250 dollars check it out right here today i'm checking out collector's new marketplace feature in spending $250, then we're gonna open up everything we get in a video. Let's check for Yu-Gi-Oh! Sealed and see what we can find in here. All right, so we have some Lost Art Promotion lot. That is definitely not sealed. Oh, we've got some movie pack. We've got eBay. So this is sharing stuff from eBay, which is pretty cool. We've got some Ghost from the Past options. Here we go. Here's one of my favorite products, the Kaiba Collector Box. All right, I'm definitely gonna grab this Kaiba Collector Box for $78. I also think that I wanna grab this Legendary Collection for Joey's World because these are two of my favorite products to open. I think we're gonna grab that as well and if you click on the marketplace app it takes you to ebay sassy auto our favorite seller is selling this so it's perfect i think we're going to grab those two items and open them up in a youtube video so make sure to check that out make sure to go check out the collector marketplace if you guys want to find some really cool stuff it's the app that i use to track my graded cards and products and stuff like that i'll have the link in the description as well as in the youtube video we're doing in the future all right and we have officially gotten the box which was bought from sassy auto which is cool because working with collector working with sassy auto so it was great that both people were involved sassy auto was like hey why'd you buy these and i was like uh actually it was for a collector thing he's like oh let's get an affiliate link going so he has an affiliate link down below you guys can check it out in the description if you guys want to buy the stuff that i picked up which was you guys will see in a second i mean you just did see so i guess you already know so let's just open this box before we actually get into the opening of course we have a giveaway i'll be giving away all the pulls in this video so we're talking about the kaiba collection box plus the deck that has the ultimate rare in it plus potential ultimate rares in kaiba plus the legendary collection for joey's world all first edition cards so all those you can win like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you think about the collector marketplace slash what is your favorite card in this opening and then shout out to sassiato once again for sending us a little business card all right, we are gonna start it off with the Kaiba Collector Box because it is massively big. It's ridiculously large. You can't actually, by the way, I'm not shipping the Blue Eyes card. It is too big. So you're not getting that in the giveaway. Everything else though, you can win. So here's the classic giant card, which is now being given away in all those mystery boxes. Uh, it will not be given away in this video because I don't want to ship it. It's just too big. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So you'll get the regular size Blue Eyes. You'll also get the starter deck Kaiba Reloaded, which has an ultimate rare Blue Eyes and another Blue Eyes. And then I think like a common Blue Eyes too. It has a bunch of Blue Eyes in there. Then there's six packs that we will be opening duelist pack you duelist pack high but let's start with those then we'll get into legendary collection for joey's world so here we go let's see what we can pull will we make a profit that is the whole goal of this video so we spent whatever it was 214 dollars something like that we're gonna see if we can make our money back so uh, a couple things to know we'll have the value of this if it gets over a dollar i think that might be around a dollar this guy probably worth about 10 bucks so that's gonna add back there then we're gonna do our pulls from everything else i think giant blue eyes maybe has like one dollar value which we can add if it, if it does so now we're trying to make our money back it's going to be difficult but let's see if we can do it if we can pull an ultimate rare it'll go a long way into doing it uh obviously not in this pack because we know yugi got absolutely screwed we're just going to do yugi first because we know that his packs do not have ultimate rare so we're going to get those out of the way could we pull the dark paladin worth a few bucks not bad unlimited let's see if we can get a buster blader next card i think Light Force Sword and the Dark Magician. Very nice. Final card here. Let's see if we can get our $214 back. We have Brain Control. Very nice. Big Shield Gardener. Spellbinding Circle. Karibo. And Magical Ats. All right, Yugi, you let us down once again. All right, now crunch time. Ultimate rare time. Will we get Pot of Greed, CED, Ring of Destruction, Crush Card Virus, or Cyber Jar? I believe that's all of them. Sword Stalker. A monster formed by the vengeful souls of those who passed away in battle. Very creepy and very awesome sword stalker. Polymerization. Hitotsumi Giant. Oh, a super rare XYZ Dragon Cannon. So we did get something pet in the dark clown. This is officially a foil. I don't actually know if this gets over a dollar though. So that might not help us too much. Right now, we are not looking so good in terms of making money, but... You know, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Open and sealed product. Legendary Collection 4 usually is very solid in terms of making money back, though. So maybe it'll help a lot. Let's see if we can get an ultimate rare here. Hitatsumi Giant. Flute of Summoning Dragon. Sagi, the Dark Clown. And... <laughs> no! You cannot make this up, man! Chaos! 
Cross Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End again. It was like less than a month ago that we pulled it for the first time in like two, no, more than two years, like four years. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me, man. Another ultimate rare. So that is going to go a long way to making our money back. I mean, we probably still don't, but that is like 30 to $40, I think. Ultimate Rare Unlimited. Wow. And you guys can win this card. So don't forget to enter the giveaway. Wow. And if you guys want to pick up some of the products yourself as well, check out the link down below for a, a little uh, affiliate with Sassy Auto. Wow. All right. Shout out to the Collector Marketplace and Sassy Auto for clutching up on the duo there. We got the Y Dragon Head, Lord of D, Sagi the Dark Cloud. Cloning. Okay, that means we didn't get anything. And Vampire Lord. So we went one for... No, sorry. Two for six. One ulti, one super. That was amazing. All right. Woo. All right. I already feel like I'm going to pass out after that. I was not expecting to get that excited. All right, let's go. Legendary Collection for Joey's World. Here are our contents. Uh, we don't care about the game board. I don't think it has any value. It might have a couple bucks, but I don't think it really does. This pack, though, I believe is like a 15 to 20 dollar sealed pack. So that's definitely going to help us with value right there in terms of coming back. So we've got a deck, we've got a sealed pack and we've got a CED ultimate rare. So it's going well in terms of the value. We're still probably not even close, but we're trying to get there. Can we pull something big out of Joey's World? I don't even know what the Best card here is we opened a bunch of these recently wasn't it like foolish burial was one of the best i think i don't know i can't remember that card has probably changed in price since then it was like 30 something dollars at that point can we get a big pull though a lot of value though because they're oh neko main king this ju just got a reprint otherwise it was like a five dollar card so unfortunately for the value i think it's let's do two from the back i think that'll be fine we have sword slasher this is a classic card a lethal engine of destruction that wields two well honed blades you'd love to see that 1450 uh engine of destruction he takes a sacrifice and he's 1450 very weird dice reroll Neko Man King, that, I mean, that might even be a dollar still though. So that might be on the uh, the value scale. Swordsman of Lance, ah, Shadow Tamer, that's just a rare. We have a Stray Lambs. I don't think that's very good. It's an ultra though. Ooh, a Red Eyes Darkness Metal. This one's definitely worth around five plus dollars. So that's a solid card. And Hysteric Party, that's also pretty decent. And then a Dice Jar actually might be worth something as well. So that was actually a pretty decent pack. All right, one heck of an opening so far. I mean, very solid cards we were pulling. We still have four packs of this to go. So I think we could have done, what, three from the back? I'm just going to keep it going with two because it worked. Fossil Excavation, very nice. Graceful Dice, cool to see that as a common. Very cool. Needle Wall. Alligator Sword. Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing his sword so fast that it's more that... <laughs> I can't ever get through it. It's more than the speed of sound. All right, very nice. Alligator sword, very cool text there. Chaos trap hole. Jinzo is a rare. That's pretty awesome. I wonder if that gets over a dollar. I doubt it, but maybe it does. And Monster Reborn. That is definitely going to at least be something. Monster Reborn, I'm guessing two to three dollars. Secret rare. Here we go. Come on, something big. Another one, a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. That's pretty good. Did I say Flare last time? Very good. And then a Harpy Lady 2. See, look, I made the right decision with the pack trick. It would have been a foil. Harpy Lady 2. That was actually another pretty good pack. Wow, what an opening so far. Can we make our money back from the Collector Marketplace? Here we go. We have Black Tyranno. Blowbag Dragon. Needle Wall. Come on. Alligator Sword at it again. Let's go. Chaos Trap Hole. Pretty decent card. What else will we get? I think this is the rare. Beast of Talwar. Okay, look, this is when they changed it and they added this card is always treated as an Archfiend card. Very cool. Okay, next is a Ultra Rare. It's a spell. It could be, what, Heavy Storm, another Monster Reborn. Heavy Storm, we called it. I was like, I think that's in this set. Heavy Storm, that's always going to be at least like a dollar, right? Very solid in the Secret Rare. Will we get another Darkness Metal Dragon? Let's see. Okay, it looks like a normal. That's usually not a good sign. Sabersaurus. Yeah, okay. We've opened a lot of this. See, we know we know it's Sabersaurus. And then a Polymerization. Okay, Polymerization is probably worth a couple bucks. So our worst pack so far, but still not bad. These packs, I mean, they're always decent value. Even the worst, you know, the bad packs have decent cards in them. So let's see if we can get something really big to end this thing. Uh-oh, not end it. We have two more. So second to end. One, two. Come on. Joey's World. Let's go. We have Wall Shadow. We've got that giant text that uh, Chaotic Meatball likes. A master of monsters that exercises control over several creatures, the Master Tamer. We've got the Ryu Koki. I was looking for this guy for a long time. We get we, Now we have a lot of them. Vampire's Curse, another beautiful card. Trap of the Imperial Tomb. Oh, that's a creepy card. Come on, first, it's a rare. Gravekeeper's Visionary. Was this ever a good Gravekeeper? I don't think so. I don't think it was a little too late. Okay, up next, what will we get? Our, it's another spell. What's it going to be? 
Gates of the Dark World. This went up a lot because of the uh, Dark World structure deck. So that might actually be a little value there. It used to be like 20 cents. Now I think it's actually worth dollars. Secret rare. Let's go. It's a trap. It could be, of course, Solemn Judgment. We're looking at uh, oh, compulsory evacuation device. Some good stuff like that. Oh, it is Solemn Judgment. That's a good one. That's always going to be five to ten bucks. Very solid secret rare. And finally, these are first edition because there's no unlimited in this. And... Harpy Lady one. So we have a Hysteric Party and a couple of Harpy Ladies so far. Not bad. Final pack of this opening. I think we've pulled pretty well. I don't think we've made our money back, but I bet we are like, I bet we're over halfway there, which is not bad. You know, it's not bad at all, especially since the Duelist packs usually are going to be a neg for the most part because they're old school. You either pull something or you don't, you know, for the most part. All right, Legendary Fisherman, let's go. Let's pull some big Labyrinth wall. These walls form a labyrinth with no exit for enemies, unless you're Yugi and Joey. Go for the legend. Relieve Monster. It's no longer a secret rare from Retro Pack 2. It's a common. Okay. Beast Skull Dragon. Cool to see that. Treated as an Archfiend card. They added that there as well. Come on, Ultra Rare. Will it be a spell? No, it's not a spell this time. Amazonist Tiger. I don't think that's a great one. It's still really cool to see the Amazonist Tiger. I hate Amazonist from Duel Links, though. Next up, secret rare. What will it be? It's a spell. Oh, a pot of greed. This is like a 15 to $20 card. I know this is a good one because even though it's banned, will it get unbanned one day? Let me know. Still worth quite a bit. That's a great pull. Probably our best secret rare. And finally, Red Eyes Bee Chick, a classic looking card. You'll love that. And then, oh, even more classic. This big old guy with a big old eye shoots a nasty ray beam right at you. <laughs> and then look at that air do, man. It's amazing. Just amazing. The Mio Toko. Love to see it. What an opening. I think we did pretty well for the packs we got. You guys can win every card in this video. Besides this, doesn't count. Everything else you can enter. So make sure to enter the giveaway. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you want to check out Collector, I'll have the link down below. You guys can download it on your phone and stuff like that. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, JT Cho, TCG Trusted Cards, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Miss Cycle, James Jance, Frankie Martinez, Ananda Tai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.